fusiform face area is at the back of the brain, where first processing of information from the eyes takes place. In a normal brain, it rapidly assesses any new face for its distinctive proportions of eyes, nose and mouth. Then it looks for a match amongst all the familiar faces stored in long-term memory. The whole process is lightning fast. We can recognize people we have met before in approximately 100 milliseconds. It's about pattern recognition. You can see the analogy with a chessboard, where again, one must identify the individual pieces. But what's really important when you play chess is being able to apprehend the, the spatial relationships between those pieces. Every brain has a face processor to help us make sense of the daily sea of faces. But there are many complex patterns in the world around us. Does the brain have processes for those? Few of us see patterns better than Susan Polgar. So we are going to submit this chess grandmaster to a scan to find out exactly what makes her brilliant brain so unique. Grandmaster Susan Polgar is about to find out how her brain is perfectly adapted for the game of chess. She has come to meet Professor Joy Hirsch of Columbia University, a leading expert in brain imaging techniques. And one thing these two women can agree on is that size doesn't matter. The female brain is uh, quite a bit smaller than the male brain in general, and we know that there's no difference in our Absolutely. intelligence, right? <laughs> we can agree on that one. Hirsch intends to scan Susan's brain using MRI, or magnetic resonance imaging. Inside the scanner, Susan can see projected images of some of the world's most famous chess players. And so far, her brain is responding exactly as expected. The fusiform face area, her brain's dedicated face processor, is powerfully activated. But does Susan's brain have another processor that's dedicated to chess patterns? She's now looking at diagrams from her own chess games, some dating back to her distant childhood in Budapest. She's been asked to think about each diagram as if it's a game in progress, calculating her next move. These are the first scans of a world champion's brain playing chess. But a comparison with the face recognition scan leads to a remarkable discovery. We're looking at the bottom of the brain, four slices, and this, these two areas, this is the fusiform face area. Susan is using exactly the same area of her brain for both faces and chess. For you, we can't discriminate a face area from a chess area. They are identical. Astonishingly, Susan's brain has hijacked the fusiform face area and adapted it to chess. Instead of faces, it's comparing incoming chess positions with the vast library of games in her long-term memory. Susan can recognize a familiar game in just 0.8 seconds almost as fast as the face of an old friend. Years of intense childhood training literally molded Susan's brain for the game. It's solid evidence for her father's theory that genius can be created. I definitely agree with my father that the work part, the diligence part is the most important and I think that being trained properly, anybody can achieve practically anything. 